In this video, I'm going to explain how you end up with earthworms in gutters or eaves troughs. Earthworms are normally associated with being part of a garden, enjoying the moist soil conditions of your garden so they can take up oxygen and feasting on organic matter, so leaves, twigs, animal waste, whatever it is that is present in your garden. So they're normally known for that. And after a period of extensive rainfall, you'll find that your gutters on your roof provide ideal conditions for earthworms to thrive. So given that those conditions are great, how on earth do earthworms get into your gutters? So passive dispersal can be explained simply by birds moving in and around the garden and taking with them up onto the roof potentially slimy cocoons of earthworms. So when earthworms reproduce, their eggs are housed in a slimy cocoon. And as these birds move through and move back up onto those higher places, onto roofs, those slimy cocoons may end up found in gutters. So that's one plausible explanation for how the earthworms get up onto the roof. The other passive dispersal that may have occurred in this case, I was conducting some air layering just over the edge of a gutter on this side of my roof where the earthworms were found. Uh, where my air layering took place, I did have some birds pecking some holes in my alfoil surrounding my air layers and I may have lost or I did lose a little bit of potting mix as a result of that into the gutters. The second plausible explanation for this strange phenomena is that earthworms are actually supreme athletes. Right now, I would love to show you some footage of an earthworm climbing a tree, but instead I had to trawl through the depths of Twitter to find some other examples of earthworms climbing to random places. In saying that, I did contact Frank Ashwood, who is a soil ecologist, and stated that earthworms are exceptionally good climbers, and it is very plausible that they got up onto the roof via the tree without any need for passive dispersal. Next time you find earthworms in your gutter, if you happen to do so, you can quite easily explain this phenomena by passive dispersal, either birds dropping worms or cocoons up onto the roof of your house, or alternatively, the earthworms got there due to their sheer athleticism. Hope you found this obscure content somewhat useful and entertaining.